Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty by Lenore across all my social media platforms. And as you already guessed from the title and the thumbnail, we don't need to waste no time. We're here to get into swimsuit season. You know, yesterday was Memorial Day and now every pool is officially open. Beach has been open. Girl, just because you plus size don't mean you can't get out there and slay. I'm about to give you some pieces that, you know, I got a little while ago that you guys are able to see. Some are affordable, some are a little bit more pricey, but I wanted to make sure I gave you guys options. Always remember that basic black will always be in season. Any type of bright colors on the beach will always be in season. No matter what the trend is, no, no matter what's going on, if you see a bright yellow, bright orange, bright pink, a turquoise, or a white, those are traditional colors that will look good on any beach at any pool, no matter where you're going to. But if you're ready to go ahead and get this uh plus size body into some bathing suits so you can go out there and swim and have fun, or... You can float on the floaty and sip a drink. You do. Whatever you want to do, girl. Just get out the house and let's go to the pool, to the beach, whatever. If you're ready to go ahead and see this haul, that is coming in from Kohl's. No, I'm lying. It's coming in from Forever 21 and also from Plush Dolls Boutique. If you're ready to see these hauls, then let's keep watching. You're my bitter one taking me home. Okay, so this is the first bathing suit, and this is from Plush Dolls Boutique. And I'm gonna leave all the information on the screen, of course, the name of the bathing suit, of course, with the actual size of the bathing suit. But this is what I'm saying. Ladies, get comfortable with your body no matter where you are. Whether you're plus size and 150 pounds, or plus size and 300 plus pounds, girl, live your best life. If you're on a weight loss journey or just an improvement journey, as far as your body is concerned or your education, no matter what it is, you're on that journey. But in the meantime, don't let the moments, the present moments pass you by. Embrace it, take photos, so you're able to look back on, hey, summer 2019, I was Rishuta out in these streets. But look at me now, summer 2020, you know what I'm saying? Take, take pictures, girls, definitely take pictures. But this first one, I really like this one. This one is really, really pretty. It's trendy, it's in style. It got the kind of the Fendi print on it. You know, the fancy, cause you know, you owe too fancy. So you like it, of course, yellow. Yellow is just really in season right now. So this is one of the bathing suits. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the side view. Definitely again, get comfortable with your body. This is the back view. And this is going to be the other side view. You do have to keep pulling down if that's something that bothers you. Doesn't really bother me. It's not one of the things that I worry about. And plus with this bathing suit, the one thing I will tell you is when you're swimming, <laughs> but when you're swimming, just know this is white. So the white part does get see-through. So you're about to be given all type of areola and nipple issues when you go swimming. Or if you're one of those girls who like to just wear a bathing suit to the beach, let me step back. If you're one of those girls who just like to wear a bathing suit to the beach and you're like, ah, I might get my feet in the water, just know that with this type of bathing suit, it does have the support to hold you up, okay? So the material will hold you up, but it still gives a little bit of sag in it, but it's not like your breasts are all the way down here. But I will let you know, as you're walking and moving around, you're gonna have to do that constant lift, readjust. And I did wear this while I was in Miami. I did go swimming in this. I didn't have any issues while I was swimming at the beach with swimming. And all of a sudden, bloop, a boob popped out. And you under the water trying to do all this, trying to rearrange yourself. I didn't have that problem in this bathing suit. So again, this is one of the bathing suits that I definitely love. And this one screams, Vacation, I'm here. You finna get all of these arms, all of this, but you finna get all you finna, you finna get whatever body I bring to the beach. So this is the first one. Now I want to go ahead and show you and tell you something with this second bathing suit. Ladies, okay, let's show you the bathing suit with no bra. This is the bathing suit with no bra. And And 
Ain't nobody got time for that. It's a tank teeny top with high-waisted bottoms. So what I would encourage you to do, because you guys know I normally have, well, I am, a 44 triple D in the breast area, you know, between the weight loss and the kids. Ain't nobody got time for that. So what I would recommend you do is just go to Family Dollar or Dollar General, and they have these bras that come two in a pack for you guys. And you could throw them on underneath the bathing suit because it's just a cheap bra. You don't have to worry about hay constantly getting wet. Let it dry in the shower underneath over the rack while you're on vacation at the hotel. So you can wear it the next day depending on how your bathing suit is. And the one thing I will tell you guys about these bras is this is a 44D and it fits me perfectly. I guess because of the cheap wear, uh, the cheap way they made the bra. But you get two bras for $8. So this will be a great investment for you to be able to put on and wear. And like I said, even though I'm a 44 triple D, these actually do work. So here is the outfit without an actual bra being on. And for this, I wouldn't, I wish the top was a little tighter and the bottom. Like I could have sized down in this because this is a little too loose. And the thing about swimming, when you're swimming in the heat of your body, in the heat of the water, the material kind of scratches. So if it's a little bit more fitting and or tight, it'll fit and feel better when you're in the water. If you're just walking around being cute and being cool, fine, cool, it's not a problem. But if you're actually getting in the water and going swimming, just know you want your bathing suit to not be an exact fit. You want your bathing suit to compress. You want some compression. Because there's nothing worse than seeing girls get out of the pool or on the beach getting out of the water and they turn around and the bottom part of their bathing suit is just like sagging all down like that because the water, the heat and everything has stretched the bathing suit out and you be looking like, you look like you got on a diaper sis. But let me go ahead and put this on so I can show you how the actual bathing suit is. It's a three piece bathing suit. So far we have on two pieces, but let me show you. And here's the bathing suit with the actual bra on. So you can see the breasts have been lifted. They're no longer all the way down here. So you can actually see it's a two piece tank teeny bathing suit. So this is what you're gonna be running into the water, running into the pool. This is what you'll be looking like, but it is a three piece. So let me show you the Camino cover up. And I love this for my ladies who don't feel comfortable, you know, being around, walking around. It has slits on the actual side. It's a thin material, but it's a well-made material. So it's not like cheap, where you feel like the first time you wash it or get it wet, it's gonna start to fall apart. No, this is a really great bathing suit material and it's thin enough to wear, even if you go swimming or go to the pool. If you walk around for 15, 20 minutes, this will be completely dry and the bathing suit will be about 80% dry. So I really like that. So this way I can get out of the pool or leave the beach and just, you know, kind of meander around for about 20, 30 minutes. So that way I'm not going to go sit in a car or Uber and I'm wet. Everybody hates getting back into a car wet after you leave the beach or the pool. You know how to go. But this is what it looks like. It's long. It goes all the way down mid-calf. And with this one, you can definitely go ahead and throw this on on top of any other bathing suit that you actually have. You know, if it's a black one, a green one, a yellow one, a blue one, girl, this one piece actually will be able to cover you and keep you. And you know, when you're walking down to the beach, you can do it like this. You can be walking around the beach. You ain't gotta be too worried about too many people looking at you. And then, bam, I came to swim. <laughs> so this one again is from Plush Dolls Boutique. And I love this three-piece set. I absolutely love this three-piece set. You have to be comfortable with a little bit of midriff showing. Shouldn't be that much of a problem, but if you're not, these are high waist, so you can pull them down, you can pull them up. I like to keep them right there. So this, you guys are really gonna like this one. So let's go on to the next one. Okay, so this piece is from Forever 21. Forever 21 Plus. I hate when they do these little clear pieces on bathing suits. So all I do is just cut them off because Trust me when I say you do not have time to constantly be pulling on strings or scraps and stuff. This is a plus size bathing suit haul. So because this is a plus size bathing suit haul, you're already trying to make sure that, you know, 
not too much of the booty cheeks that came out. Make sure ain't nothing around here that popped out. Make sure you ain't sitting there like the 40 year old version and the whole booby didn't fell out. So I like this one because the compression is there. So because the compression is there, it does hold up the girls. So there's no need to wear a bra with this. And of course, you know, like I said, guys, you probably will be readjusting like anytime you're plus size and you put on the bathing suit and you have boobies, you already know you're gonna be playing the adjustment game. But let's go ahead and show you this bathing suit. This bathing suit, I actually love and adore. And I like the fact that it has this little corset piece that pulls right here. So you know how sometimes you have the pudge in the middle of your stomach, let's just say you ate too many burritos, it kind of flattens out the entire front of your stomach, but you're still plus size, but this just makes it a little bit more flattering. And I come a little bit closer, and you can actually see. This is a movable part. So if you want it down a little bit lower or up a little bit higher, depending on where your pudge is right here in the middle area that you're trying to hide, you can pull it up a little bit higher and give a more snatched waist if you do it that way. If you pull it down a little bit lower to hide the pudge, it just pulls down where it is snatching your actual waist. So I love this and this is a functional working corset. So you can pull this as loose as you need it or as tight as you need it. So I really do love this one. So this is Forever 21. Great compression on this one, and I like this color against my skin tone. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, so this is the next bathing suit from Forever 21. It does have the little padding on the inside, so I will cut on the inside of the bathing suit and take that padding out because the padding moves, and it looks weird when the padding is moving, but this is the bathing suit. As you can tell, we have coverage. We don't have to worry about anything spilling out or looking crazy. So it does give front coverage. A little side boob action, but that's just because I'm plus size and have big breasts. So, and the straps are adjustable. So if you need them to be longer, if you have a longer torso or shorter, if you have a shorter torso, you can. And this little tie right here is really cute because it just adds something different to the bathing suit. You have a little keyhole below the little tie. It is something that if you're not into that or you don't want it, you can always just simply remove it and it changes the complete look of the bathing suit. For me, it looks a little weird. So I would actually keep the tie right there. But here's the bathing suit. And this one offers superior coverage right here for any type of spilling or anything coming out on the actual side. So I really do like that. And of course, black is always gonna be very slimming for you guys. So that isn't something you're gonna have to worry about. And of course, the pop of red and white just says, hey, we're here, we're ready, we're ready to go swimming. And as you're swimming and moving around because of the way it's holding the brush, I don't have to worry about anything actually popping out. So as you're swimming, moving around in the pool or the ocean, you don't have to worry about this whole breast that slipped out of this V or this one there. The compression of the top keeps the breast in place, so that's always a good thing. Let's take a look at the last one. And this is by far my favorite bathing suit. This is the last bathing suit in this haul from Forever 21. And this one is for the girls who came to show a little skin. Now this is a tie. I only tied it once so I can show you guys. If you want to, you can go ahead and cut it off if you want to. Or you can tuck it inside and be like, hey, you came to party with this one. But I really like the ties coming across time like this. Just do a double knot and it'll stay in. You don't have to worry about it coming out. But I like the tie because it adds a little bit more sass to the bathing suit. And the compression on this one is amazing. So I did wear this when I was in Miami in the Keys. I am taking this on my next trip. But with this one, you don't have to worry about anything, really. The breast sitting, baby. Hello. The breasts, the breasts are sitting in this one. Like you, every time you walk, every time you take a step, just know these are gonna be like boom, 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 boom. Did you just know that, okay? <laughs> but this tie right here is a tie as well. So this one, 
can be worn and done a few different ways, just depending on what makes it comfortable for you ladies. So let me show you. If you don't want the tie there and you want just a little bit more coverage so it becomes more of a band too, you can. But you know, I'm like, give me all the sex appeal that can possibly be given for me. So it's a tie. So you can tie it like that if you're more comfortable with that and being this way. So here's the front of the baby suit. These straps are removable. So if you're plus size and you don't have the breast issue of um, heavy breast that sag or weight loss breast that sag or mommy breasts that have sagged and your breasts pretty much stay wherever you put them, then you can take these straps off. Uh, if you have heavier breasts that gravity has started to take control of, whether it's your weight loss or gain, giving birth to babies, whatever it may be, we'll keep these straps on because these straps will keep these things sitting pretty all day. But here's the side of the baby suit. Here's the back. Here's the other side of the bathing suit. And I absolutely love and adore this bathing suit. Like this bathing suit, this bathing suit made me feel so pretty and so sexy. And how I actually wore this bathing suit as I was leaving the hotel or going back to the hotel, let me show you how. So as I was walking, you know, down Miami Beach, down South Beach in the Keys, it was more or less like this. I would cover up because, you know, it'd be so many people on the strip in Miami, it's ridiculous, you know. I would cover up, I would just have it like this, and the wind was always blowing, so it was always out like this. So if you're one of those people who are a little bit more conservative, and you kind of want to cover up until you get into the water, then you can have this. And when it's ready to swim time, we can go get wet, bam. Let's go get wet. <laughs> and this actually came in handy when we were on the beach because when you get out the water and you're trying to dry off and you feel the breeze and the wind and stuff coming across the beach off the water, not really sure about a pool, but I know off the beach, the, the wind and the breezes can get chilly. So I would just literally lay on my little chair that we had rented on um, South Beach in Miami. And I would just cover up my thighs and butt with this. So if I'm sitting on my side or if I rolled over to my actual tummy to kind of relax, you know, I don't have to worry about my butt just being all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Because we have weirdos out there. So if I'm not actually in the water or getting out of the water or anything like that, for the most part, I will cover up. Plus I'm married. My husband, he doesn't care. My husband like, all of the bathing suits, he didn't have a problem with any of the bathing suits. He could care less, but for me personally, as a woman, I'm not into when guys just zone in on the body part. I, I'm not a fan of that. So here is the final look for this bathing suit. And when I say Forever 21, knock this one out the park. Forever 21, we gonna need this in a yellow, a pink. Yes, you came to play with the girls with this one. Hope you guys like this one. Okay, so hopefully you've had a chance to actually see the swimsuits and you've seen some options there that you may like, some options that you like, girl, I would never. Just, you know, whatever. Just something that you're able to add and put into your cart and ready to go turn up and have a good time. You know, my biggest thing is just because you're plus size doesn't mean you have to dress in your mother's drapes, look like your grandmother's couch from the 60s. Girl, no. Whatever you're doing to try to get healthy or lose weight or surgery, whatever it may be, that ain't today. That body that you're working for isn't today. You still have to live, enjoy your life, and have fun today. So I want you to put on a bathing suit, girl. I want you to get out there. I want you to have fun. Like, who gonna stop you, boo? Who gonna check you, boo? Who gonna check you, boo? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Girl, live your life and have fun. I don't want plus size women to fall into the trap that just because they're a little bit bigger, there's a little bit more, you know, going on that, no, nah, I don't really want to go to the beach. I'm not comfortable or I don't want to go to the pool. I'm not comfortable or I want to wait to take that trip until I lose a little bit more weight. Don't do that, girl. Don't 
If I can't tell you nothing else, if I can't give you nothing else, don't do that. I have a last talk coming up that's going to really put that into perspective for you. But all BS aside, I definitely want you to go ahead and live every day to its fullest. I want you to live every day like it's your last day because you may never get to that goal weight. You may never get to that goal body. Or if you do, why would you want to waste all of these memories and opportunities waiting on something? Girl, don't do that. But you already know. I'm your girl, Beauty by Lenoria. And of course, thank you so much, you two, for coming and spend some time with me today. And you already know. I don't care when you're watching me uh, putting on one of these bathing suits. <laughs> I'm just happy that you came and spent some time with me. And of course, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And you have a beautiful day, you two. Bye.